Welcome all risks and welcome to another review. This is the Seiko SRPF77, also known as the Dark Manta. And this might tick a lot of boxes for picky collectors. When it comes to Seiko, they're known for affordable, reliable watches. But recently, I feel they're losing their touch. Seiko has been introducing some stellar timepieces and designs but their incorporation of cheaper and less durable materials has been off-putting. The SRPF77 to me represents a return to a Seiko which truly demonstrates what they can pack into an affordable, functional package. Here are the dimensions and specs. The SRPF77 has a case diameter of 45 millimeters, a lug to lug of 47.7 millimeters, lug width of 22 millimeters, and a thickness of 13.2 millimeters. It has 200 meters of water resistance with a screw down crown and 41 hours of power reserve thanks to the 4R36 movement. Take one look at the Dark Manta and you instantly recognize how it got its nickname. This isn't an incredibly expensive timepiece, but it definitely exudes the presence of one. When I think of Seiko and dials, I usually think of Grand Seiko, but this isn't a Grand Seiko. In fact, you can find it for less than a Grand. The Dark Manta bends the rules of dial hierarchy and proudly displays its intricacies at a much lower price point. It features a subdued grayish blue backdrop with flanking gradients which evoke the deep depths of the ocean. These gradients tie in well with the black chapter ring and bezel and creates a subtle yet eye-catching experience which draws you in to reveal its finer details. The dial is littered with texture, simulating the perpetual flow of the ocean and helps to emphasize the shadowy silhouettes of mantas lurking in the deep. As a result, the dial feels dynamic, even though it's a static element. Its dull colors and added shades collectively create an imposing look, one which maintains your attention and ensures clear view of the dial with a sapphire crystal to protect from any unwanted scratches. To match the scratch-proof nature of the sapphire is a black bi-directional ceramic bezel with white numerals and markers with a loom pip at the triangle marker. The action is smooth and a joy to operate with the grippy double stacked teeth on the bezel. Now this ceramic and sapphire combination is quite a common pairing in the watch world but not so much for Seiko, especially in this price range. In conjunction with the detailed dial, the use of these more durable materials further emphasizes Seiko's ability to offer quality timepieces in every price range and has earned this family of watch the king title. Although the dial is extremely well done, and inclusions of scratch resistant materials is a much welcome positive, there are some sore spots. As watch enthusiasts, we're never satisfied with a watch. There will never be a perfect timepiece, but quality control issues should never be a thing we need to consider. Unfortunately for Seiko, it's something that must be considered. These indices, are generously loomed and framed with polishing. They look fantastic and are very visible from afar and legible in low light settings, but they don't line up with the chapter ring. Now you might get lucky and get a piece that does line up, but more often than not, Seiko tends to have misaligned chapterings or bezels or indices and as you can see there 
at the 9, the 6, and 12, they are misaligned on this specific piece. Now, timepieces are first and foremost instruments to tell time. Every little deviation from accuracy makes it harder to tell the time accurately. It's already hard enough with mechanical movements, but adding on misaligned chapter rings and indices makes it incredibly hard to tell the time accurately. Now, this issue is trivial in the grand scheme of things, but it's a fault which should not be ignored or accepted, especially when purchasing an instrument of time from a company with over 100 years of experience. The SRPF77 has a very unique case architecture. It sports a cushion style structure which resembles the shell of a turtle, hence the turtle nickname for this specific line of Seiko divers, and forms natural crown guards protecting the signature Seiko crown at 4 o'clock. The finishing of the case isn't anything amazing, but it gets the job done, featuring a brushed top side with a polished belly and sides. The case back is finished in a similar fashion with a predominantly brushed surface and polished chamfered edge topped with a polished Seiko diver wave. Although it boasts a large case diameter, it wears surprisingly well thanks to its relatively short lug to lug and curved side profile. This soft shape structure and crown at four contribute to the watch's wearability and comfortable wearing experience. It essentially eliminates any sudden edges, allowing the wrist to move freely and unobstructed, something important when you want freedom of movement. To further enhance its comfort is its rubber strap. The strap is very soft and pliable allowing it to contour against the wrist with ease and provides many points for adjustment. The color matches that of the dial and works well to highlight its aesthetics. The buckle matches the bulky and curved look of the case and attempts to balance out the heavy watch head, but doesn't do much to reduce the top heavy feeling when it's on the wrist. Now, unlike the case, the Keeper has a sharp and boxy construction, which can definitely be felt on the wrist if you like your watches a little tighter. Both the buckle and Keeper are signed with the Seiko logo, and the strap also dons the same Prospects wave found on the case back. Now the strap does have a slight taper from the lugs and this helps to keep the keeper at bay protecting the case from any accidental collision now let's get it on wrist here it is on my six and a half inch wrist and again the rubber strap is very comfortable, but it's that keeper that really tends to dig into your wrist if you, you know, like to have your straps a little tight. So you will definitely notice that keeper there. It's sharp and boxy, rectangular corners will dig in. Other than that, that case shape really allows the wrist to move unobstructed.
The SRPF77 packs a punch in terms of overall package, especially for Seiko. You get a sapphire crystal, ceramic bezel, iconic case shape, day and date function with a magnifying cyclops lens, and 200 meters of water resistance. Not to mention a dial worthy of watches leagues above its price point. The watch is robust as a functional tool and amazes as a piece of art. It's a well thought out watch and reminds me of what Seiko is capable of doing within a lower price bracket. Thank you for watching the video. Let me know in the comments what you think about the watch. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more watch content. I'll see you in the next one.